Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting problem here to integrate today. This one you do have to use partial fraction. Okay, so we'll see why it's called a partial fraction. Basically it involves getting this one down to a form uh, we can integrate separately. Let's take this chunk by itself. Uh, minus 4 here. Let's get into the form um, in that it's factored x minus 4, x plus 1. Okay. From here, what we need to do is find the two numbers, a and b, such that above equation is true. Okay, plus 1. Because if we can find a and b, this chunk, when you integrate it, turns into a natural log. And so does this chunk into a natural log. So partial fraction, this is where the name comes from. We need to find A and B such that when you multiply this out, this one is equal to the 1 over x minus 4 times x plus 1. The way we do this one is actually pretty simple. Uh, we have common denominator, okay, and then we have A times x plus 1 plus b, x minus 4. Okay, so we're actually just going to compare terms. Let's spring up on top. So I have ax plus a. Okay, I'm just distributed in here. And then I have a bx plus um, minus 4b, basically. And all this, when you add it together, has to equal to 1. Okay, so basically, left-hand side equal to right-hand side. Okay, so back over here, when we distributed this one out, this thing has to equal to this one here. And the numerator is only 1. So we end up with the two equations and two unknowns. Okay, so compared, compared the coefficient here, I have a plus b has to equal to 0 because on this side, I have no uh, x uh, variable here. And then I have another equation, a minus 4b has to equal to 1. Solving the system equation, I can easily see that so when I subtract them, I have a 5b equal to minus 1, which is saying okay, 5b, this one minus this one equal to minus 1, so b is equal to minus 1 over 5. I have one of them. And the a is equal to positive 1 over 5. Okay, if you have gotten over here, 90% of the work is done. So basically, this original equation way back out here, let's see if we can find it. This one becomes dx of two parts. The first part is a. a is uh, positive one-fifth over x minus four. Okay, and then add it with minus one-fifth here divided by x plus one. This is pretty easy from here. This one fifth gets out. Okay. Then I have integration of dx, one of x plus four, uh, minus four. Then minus one fifth, the integration of x plus one. From there, I have one fifth. This become natural log of x minus four. Don't forget the absolute value sign. Minus one fifth of the natural log of x plus one, and add any constant to have it complete. And here is your answer. Okay. This is called partial fraction. All right. Hope it helped. Have a confident day.